thing I love about the community is I love that you can walk to so many things. And it's just the sense of walking down the street and knowing your neighbors as well. Um, if there's something wrong or if I need something, you know, I'm not hesitant at all to walk across the street to ask someone for that. Um, immediately when we moved to the area, people came over, introduced themselves. Um, we never felt as if we didn't belong in this community. I feel like Bellevue is a great place not only to live, but the school system, it's an amazing opportunity for students. Not only are they getting um, more one-on-one -on -one attention with small class size, but they also are getting the opportunity to really develop as independent learners and independent um, just people. The Bellevue classroom really is a way of teaching to reach the individual child. When you think about most classrooms that I've thought about in the past, it's kids sitting there, the teacher talking, and that's not what you see here. The Bellevue classroom is more about creating independent learners. Um, the kids have a very um, big, big part in the classroom discussions, in the instructional practices, how the instruction is guided. So what the kids are showing that um, they know is kind of where, where they go. The level that the kids are actually on is where the instruction is, is geared towards. Now when you go into classrooms, you hear students talking about their learning. Um, they're talking about what is making them good readers, what is making them good writers, mathematicians. Um, they're really seeing themselves as in that role. It's very hard to be inspired so quickly by um, a new leader coming into our district and that was not the case when Rob came. We're really focusing on what each child needs and you know he came in with a motto of who's doing the talking is who's doing the learning and I think that resonates with me so so much that before he got here our teachers were the ones that were talking all day long and now you go into classroom and the kids are talking and really um, collaborating with each other and working together to build their schema and their knowledge and just kind of to become those lifelong learners. I know test scores are always a big part of the conversation when talking about schools and talking about where you're going to move or, um, you know, go to school. I really think that um, with test scores, it's, it's a part of it. And I think that when you start something new that's completely new, a new way of looking at instruction, a new way of teaching, um, you don't immediately see the results. And I do think that we will definitely see the effects of this down the road. Uh, you know, it could be this year, it could be next year, um, but what I'm seeing here, it's coming. A lot of things that I've heard in the past is what Grandview's doing with the Bellevue Classroom or what Bellevue Independent Schools are doing with the Bellevue Classroom is drawing families in. Um, they want their child to be seen as an individual learner, um, not just necessarily a number, but you know, that we value their importance as individuals. Being from Eastern Kentucky, coming to the Northern Kentucky area, it, you know, I was thinking like this big city type place type feel, but living in Bellevue, it's, it's a different feel than that. It's a, it's a strong, small community that really bands together, whether it is um, someone is in need of something, you see everybody come out, that's kind of the same way it is in the school. Um, it's a strong sense of community, of togetherness, you know, we're all in it for the greater good of the community and for the students. Um, it's great to see the transfer of what's going on in our classrooms as what's going on in the community as well. Um, so I think it builds that competence up in that child to be an independent learner and to be a part of not only society, but they learn that being a part of their classroom.